For now, Republican Senator Mike Rounds of South Dakota. He is the co-author of the UAP amendment, along with Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer. Senator, thank you for your time. Does it feel as though you're pushing a boulder up a hill on this one? Well, it's like a lot of major legislation in the United States Senate and the United States House. You don't get everything you want. You work your way through, you take it. Sometimes it takes years to get it all done. We did make some progress this year, not as much as what we wanted to, but we've begun to add some additional locations where there is a, gonna be a focus on where some of these records are being kept. And we've uh, established a location outside of any one of the branches where we can actually keep these records as they are, are reported over. So not everything that we wanted, but we'll continue to move forward and uh, find additional transparency. You sound more optimistic than David Grush, who called this the greatest legislative failure <clears throat> in American history. I asked a moment ago of our correspondent, the what's next. So how do you proceed forward and try to get the transparency you're looking for? Well, I understand Mr. Grush and his concern. He's a whistleblower. Um, you know, he'll have protections under whistleblower under the whistleblower guidelines. Um, and, and once again, there are other folks who would like to share more. They want to have information that they can have protected. But, uh, you know, we're going to take it one step at a time. Uh, we've got it now to where we recognize it's not just one branch or one area within government, that there are several different areas that we've got to be able to retrieve material from or information from. But, uh, you know, it's naturally not something that uh, we wanted to have restricted as much as it is. But on a bipartisan basis, it came through the Senate in flying colors. We've got some work to do in the House to get it done. And we'll work with them, try to resolve their issues, and perhaps we'll be able to provide additional information to the American public that is not damaging to the uh, national security of the United States in the years to come. All right, Senator, there's some of these just great big questions that none of us can answer. And without solid evidence, photos or videos, we don't really get anywhere. <laughs> Why do you think information is being hidden, or do you think information is being hidden, and why? I think there's a couple of, of different things that we've got to remember. First, we're very, very good at new technologies ourselves. So are our adversaries. Some of the information that's out there may very well be information about some of our own projects uh, that we simply don't want to have disclosed. Some of it's going to be perhaps some information about our adversaries' projects that we most certainly don't want them to know uh, how much we might be aware of their activities. Along with that, there is always a movement of funds from one branch to the other, back and forth, inside and out. And sometimes the disclosure of where that money goes can lead to disclosures of national security items of interest. I think that's a part of it that a number of the other members were concerned about. And uh, we'll have to resolve those. Uh, I'm not going to say that there's anything else involved other than that. But I think the American people would love to know, you know, more about what our capabilities are. And uh, was there actually, you know, something found at some point in, in the past that helped us to develop some of our technologies? That remains to be seen, or at least it remains to be disclosed. All right. That's just our natural curiosity as human beings. Let's talk for a moment about oversight. And I have a soundbite from David Grush talking about that panel and the watering down of that particular provision. <clears throat> There are certainly people of high repute that were willing to serve on that panel to do their best to provide the president a recommendation on what he should disclose. And, and now that the panel is not um, uh, signed into public law on the legislative branch side, I mean, we need to advocate for the executive branch, you know, the office of the president through executive action. Um, to instate su such a body uh, to advise him on the best course of action. Senator, who stands to lose the most when you don't have the oversight that Grush is calling for with a panel like that of those in the know? Well, we actually uh, had modeled the legislation that we had proposed in the Senate after the JFK Commission in order to provide confidence that it would be a reasonable group of individuals who would be able to receive this and to make recommendations and disclosures. We thought that was the best course of action. Some of our colleagues thought that it should not be independent and that it should be an item that the president would appoint as an advisory to him, uh, we actually considered modifying it to do just exactly that. In the end, um, we couldn't come to an agreement on it. Uh, we didn't have the votes in the House to get it through. And so we took what we could get, which is the fact that we now have a location uh, on, under preservation outside of any one of the military branches that will be responsible for retaining the records, and a report where, where individuals can make a report outside of the branches 
uh, that are in question, and uh, that material will be held long term. Eventually, I think we will get a commission. Uh, I think it'll be a commission that may be modified from what we originally requested, but a commission in the future that will be supported on a bipartisan basis. And the oversight would follow from there. Uh, th there is a question of oversight by Congress about where the funds uh, have been spent. This is one more opportunity for us to do a better job of oversight in the future. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.